Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a Ram 1500 Black Widow Armed Forces Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to Kunani for filming this truck for me. I'm going to include a link to her Instagram in the description down below. She posts a ton of cool truck content, so definitely go check her out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get right into the video. Let's go over this Black Widow Ram 1500 Armed Forces Edition. Uh, and this is probably my favorite Black Widow truck. I just love the matte paint. And this one's green. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now, I'm going to quickly go over the items that come with the uh, Black Widow package as we, like, go through them. Uh, and then, obviously, I'm going to give uh, kind of my opinion on the truck overall. But you guys can see here with the uh, front end. And notice the uh, extra ground clearance you get because the truck uh, has been lifted. And we'll kind of talk about that lift in just a moment um, but yeah overall I think it's uh, pretty cool everything you guys can see the shock setup too it's just uh, I don't know it's, it's kind of hidden under there a little bit but it looks cool overall notice that the Ram logo has been completely blacked out you do have some green in the grill which is really cool and then again you can see here with the venting there on top of the hood and then the Ram badge also all blacked out you can get that with any Ram 1500 uh, but notice here with the oversized fender flares, the bolt-on fender flares, that is part of the uh, Black Widow package. And then actually popping here uh, to the suspension part, we have a six inch suspension lift. Everything's been calibrated, right? So you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, and it also does come with a warranty. It's a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. And so it's covered under warranty and it's calibrated. So as soon as you take the truck off the lot, you are fine. You don't have to uh, really worry about anything. And then 20 inch wheels are standard, but you can upgrade to 22s if you want. Uh, and they'll uh, do 35s as standard. I believe they also offer 37s as an option if you want to get that. Notice the Black Widow badge here on the side. Looks really cool. Got the Black Widow spider right there. And again, the uh, matte paint is specific to the Armed Forces Edition, but you can also buy it as like an optional upgrade on regular Black Widow trucks from what I've seen actually, which I think is pretty cool and i actually had those tires not that uh you know large of a wheel but those tires on my gen 2 raptor and i liked them a fair amount uh, and then you guys can see here it does have power side steps as well which is another big plus i mean when you have a truck with a six inch lift you definitely want to have big side steps and you know we aren't going to pop the hood in this video but something i do want to talk about is the engine so typically they'll just do the 5.7 hemi with the rams but this is where i'm going to put in a little bit of opinion um I'll talk about the suspension first in the back. So still utilizes the coil springs in the rear end, as you can see, right? Uh, solid rear axle with the rams, um, but this makes it ride very smooth, even uh, with the lift. And you guys can see the shock. That's all stretched out and everything. But this is a military-themed truck, right? And a lot of people in the military are used to driving diesels because of Humvees, right? And you guys can see there <laughs> with the number on the side, that's to kind of commemorate that, which is cool. So the point that I'm trying to make, they do the 5.7 Hemi as standard with this. I think they should allow people to get the Eco Diesel Ram with the Armed Forces Edition if they want. I don't know. Let me know if like, I'm crazy on that, but I think that like this truck, right, with the six inch lift and the 35s and then a diesel under the hood, I think that would be so cool. And again, I think that people that are you know we're actually in the military and if they go and buy this truck which or any person can buy this truck by the way you don't have to be in the military to purchase it um, but the point i'm trying to make is i think they'd really appreciate that that's just i don't know that's just what i think maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm out of touch with what the market would want especially considering diesel prices right now <laughs> they're very painful uh just go look at it next time you go to a gas station but yeah just an idea and then you got the LED tail lamps because this is built off of a Laramie uh, package truck, if you guys are wondering. A lot of the Black Widow trucks we've built off of Bighorns, um, but with the Armed Forces Edition, they built it off of a Laramie so that it is a little bit more of like a luxury interior. And, you know, obviously it has the standard LED lights in the front and the rear. And then notice we got the bed liner. This one has the bed utility group as well. So you've got the cargo tie downs. And uh, they do it with a truck that has a uh, five foot seven bed. If you guys are wondering uh, now a lot of people ask about payload and towing um, so from what i've seen um i mean it depends on your trailer and all that uh, but most people have to get one of those like uh gosh i can't think of it off the top of my head but one of those like drop down hitches basically that you have to get with lifted trucks 
And then uh, typically now they do put like an updated payload sticker. And usually what I've seen is this, these lifts don't really affect the payload as much as you'd think they would. And then notice how the exhaust tip's all blocked out. Um, but you guys can imagine towing, you know, it might have about the same capacity from a weight perspective, but then it's going to tow it a lot differently because again, the truck has a higher center of gravity. Um, and then, you know, obviously using those, uh, drop down hitches, whatever they're, whatever they're called, I can't think of it right now, um, is going to change dynamics a little bit. And then on top of that, since the truck has to move more tire and everything, then it's going to be a little bit slower. So it is going to, it's going to tow things at a slightly slower rate. I wish they put a, you know, a full spare there, like, um, that's like a 35 with the wheels that the truck comes with. I think that would be cool. I'm not sure if it, f well, I mean, the TRX has a 35 underneath, so they should, they should be able to fit it underneath. I think they should be able to fit it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it happens. Um, but I, I think that would be cool. And another thing that I like about this, again, you guys can see all the blacked up badges on the back is they've just kept it pretty neutral from a color perspective with the armed forces editions right it's just like two colors on the exterior not like a bunch of uh, different colors some of the other black widow trucks will do like the you know shifted paint which i think looks really cool but i can understand some people want this more like traditional styling on it and of course you got another black widow badge right here on the back it's got you got they gotta they gotta advertise for themselves okay they gotta have as many black widow badges as they can possibly manage on the exterior of the truck so everyone knows exactly what it is and uh, also i'd have to say that um it the paint quality that i've seen so far with the black widow trucks is actually really good uh, that's another thing that i think screwed the trucks is i've seen several of these trucks that they have painted and high quality stuff uh, like they they do a really good job with that and so i think that that's a big plus as well with the trucks uh, and again, like having, like I said, having it all covered under warranty. Now you guys are probably wondering um, about the pricing with these trucks. Uh, so from what I've seen, uh, and this is not taking into account like dealership market adjustment and all that, uh, most Black Widow trucks seem to, and this is not Armed Force Edition, this is just regular Black Widow trucks, quote unquote regular, uh, seem to be like in that 70-ish thousand dollar range with the Rams. Um, but once you add on specialty options and then you do stuff like the specialty package the Armed Forces Edition is, then it jumps up quite a bit. Um, and it depends on exactly all the options you get from them, but then it seems like the truck's closer to that like 90 to $100,000 uh, range from a price perspective. Again, depending on exactly everything that you add to the truck. And then some dealerships do happen to mark these trucks up as well on top of that um just because it's it's hard to get them right and everything's marked up in today's market anyways <laughs> so it's just kind of how it is right now um but yeah overall i think it's a great looking uh truck and i think that they you know the fact that you know you've got the warranty coverage on it and everything i think that's awesome um i guess one thing i would mention is having that matte paint you probably would want to do paint protection film over the whole truck make it a little bit easier to wash but yeah look at that stance with the truck and then here's a couple interior shots of what it would uh look like this particular one has just a regular laramie interior but there's specialty interiors you can get as well but let me know what you guys think of that truck